Hey, this is Guido with the Tactics Talk. We are here on my with my HT6 Premium Japanese, HT number six anyway, which is basically a tier six Tiger that the Germans sent over to Japan at some point in order for them to check out the technology. And it is in the game as a tier six Premium, which gets quite a bit of hate. So in this Tactics Talk, we're going to talk about a little bit about the HT number six, heavy tank number six, and we're going to talk about second line support tanks. So people like to label their tanks. Hey, it's a second line support tank, it's a brawler, it's a flanker. They have all kinds of labels they want to put on tanks. Most of that stuff is all situational and all tanks can do some of that at some time. Obviously your scout is not going to brawl with a heavy. Not always, but I suppose it could at some time. The point being that most of those labels are actually tactics and not specific tank types. With HT number six, a lot of people like to say it is a second line support tank. They don't want you to get up close with it. They'll say that you need to hang back. And one of the reasons for that is it's got a pretty good gun. It's got the short 88, which is a nice gun at tier six. Pretty decent pen. Does a pretty good amount of damage. Over 200 usually, somewhere around 200. So a decent gun for hanging back a little bit at the mid range and supporting as a second line support tank. And fair enough, it does a pretty good job of that. But it can also brawl. If you're top tier, it can get up there and brawl. Obviously, some of the other tier 6 tanks can be problematic. O1s, for example, are a, kind of a pain. It's going to take you a long time to chew through one of those things with the HT. But it can brawl if need be. If you're second in tier, or if you are two down in tier, then yeah, maybe the second line support tank is the way you want to go. So here we are on Ansk, we are on Encounter, so usually the main fight is going on out here in the field. So I am going to take up a mentality, at least initially, of being careful. They do have some fairly big guns as compared to my tank. I've only got 900 hit points, 950 hit points. So I'm going to start working back here in the second line. I'll show you what I'm doing with my camera angle. And we've already got some guys lit up and they're allowing us to take some shots. I am bouncing off an M4, of course. I'll take a shot here, a little bit behind him, trying to lead fire a blind shot into him. And then I'll tuck up in here into this building. I sat there for quite a while. That is a fairly exposed spot. I'm going to knock down that fence so I can see what's going on with this guy. Get a shot into him. And that firefly is getting worked over pretty hard. You can see that the reload on this is pretty nice. And it hits fairly decently. And some good accuracy. And you'll see that continue to happen during this game that it actually has some pretty good snapshot and accuracy capability. Come around to see if I can get some shots and I've got a scout sitting back there. I do not have six cents just for your SA. I was obviously lit right there and we end up taking it on. You can see that the gun's doing a pretty good job. We've got a T29 coming up. So I have basically sat back more or less as a second line, although we haven't pushed too many guys up there. Another reason I sat back on this map, I'm going to go to gold here so I can no kid and get some shots into this T29. I'm going to eat a couple shots here, take some hard hits. One of the TDs in the back nails me as well as this T29. Coming around here, right about here, I'll get hit again. Whack, ouch. And that's the SU-12244 that's up there, and I'll find him a little bit later. The T3045 moves up, missed shot, and we'll start working on him. So like I was saying, this is not a bad spot right here. Usually guys, sometimes guys will go up into this area, if you look down the mini-map, right where this T-34-1 is. And so with his spotting and us hanging back here, we're doing that second line support thing. I'm actually tucking up in here as best I can. I think I can maybe get a shot on him, which I end up doing, and we'll take him down. I am still firing my gold, which I wish I had not been doing. I lost track that I had clicked over to it because I really didn't need it for those last about four shots or so. And that's unfortunate. There are still some guys up in that field across. I actually noticed the 12244 that hit me earlier, and he is now running out of the field because he's exposed. I'm going to get a little shot on him, and you see, yep, pretty accurate gun. Not bad. So that's really good for second line support. I get hammered by this T37, and again, pretty good shot right there. Looks like maybe he shot into the uh, tanker, and we'll start working on that T37. See that? Pretty good accuracy on that gun. Not bad at all. So that's one of the strengths, of obviously, of this tank. 
And we'll just hang back here. Now we're not really second line support at this point. I'm just trying to hold off this scout here and maybe see if I can find some of these TDs that are more than likely hanging in the back. And I'll make a big mistake right here. I kill this guy out. Again, no real aiming going on or no real zooming. There was aiming. I'll do that, and I'm going to back up and see if I can't see some of these TDs. And because I don't have six cents, I'm probably spotted when I went by. I see that dicker. I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I'll get a shot on him. Too bad he'd spotted me earlier and was waiting for me to do something stupid like that, and I'll end up dying. He gets lit. So you can see it, the tank gets a lot of hate, which I don't think it really should. I mean, it's not the most amazing Tier 6 tank that ever existed, but it's actually pretty good. Plus, it's premium, so you're getting that training, and you're getting that credit out of it. One thing to realize, though, with the crews for the tier, I want to say it's probably tier 5 at the 01, experimental and up, the crews don't match. There's only five guys in this tank, I believe, and there's six or seven or whatever it gets crazy it gets up to with the super heavies on the Japanese. So as a crew trainer, it's a little wonky. You're going to be leaving out, a, I believe, at the upper level, a loader. So most of those tanks have two loaders uh, for those big old derp guns. So that is a drawback, but otherwise... If it needs to fill the role of a second line support tank, it does well at top tier. It can brawl more or less as well as any of the other heavies at tier. Maybe slightly worse, but it can do it. So overall, not a bad tank. And a discussion on second line support tanks. We'll catch you later.